keeping the American industrial machine working. Charlie, have you got any comments on that, as to how, how something this crazy could have happened? <laughs> well, it happened. It's almost a mania of speculation that we now have. We have computers with algorithms trading against other computers. We got people who know nothing about stocks being advised by stockbrokers who know even less. <laughs> and, I understand the commission, though. Yeah, it's just, it's just an incredible, crazy situation. And it's weird that we ever got a system where all this equivalent of casino activity is all mixed up with a lot of legitimate long-term investment. I don't think any wise country would have wanted this outcome. Why would you want your country's stocks to trade on a casino basis to people who are just like the people who play craps and roulette in the casino? I think it's crazy, but it happened, and it's respectable. Not with me, but with other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and look at look at what the country. I mean, they formed the New York Stock Exchange in 1792 under a buttonwood tree, and it really didn't seem like that was the eureka moment in America. But just look at what's happened using the system uh, for less than you know. Well, you know three of my lifetimes. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. So it, it's worked. Now, maybe it's worked in spite of itself, maybe maybe with the country. But one way or another, America has worked in an incredible manner. Nobody could have dreamt it. Nobody. Uh, you know, they'd, they'd have hauled you away if you said, you know, in three lifetimes, you know, that, that uh, you know, this place where we're meeting. I mean, it, uh, uh, it became a state in 1867, but 17, in, in 1789, it asked Ben Franklin or somebody that was walking out of the Constitutional Convention, you know, is, uh, what do you think the prospects are for Nebraska? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's unbelievable what's been accomplished, and it's been accomplished uh, 